Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while, but I wanted to get a video out there. Uh, it's been a few months, so what I wanted to go over today was an overall review of the Blackstone Pro Series 36 inch griddle. So stick around, see what I like, see what I don't like, see if it's gonna be something that you wanna invest in. Here we go. Today I'm going to go over everything about this Blackstone. I'm not going to do any cooks today. I'm just going to go over it. Uh, some good things about it, some bad things about it, things I wish were a little different, um, and things that I really like. So I've had this about five months, give or take. Uh, I've done a lot of cooking this summer on it. Steaks, chicken, pork chops, veggies, mushrooms, everything. So uh, overall, I'll say that I'm very impressed with it. I do like how easy it is both to use and to clean up. So this has been seasoned. That's always the first thing you want to do is season the griddle top before you even cook on it. So make sure you follow the instructions for that. Get this nice coating on it. That way it's easy to clean, easy to maintain, and it'll, it'll last you a long time. So like I said, the nice thing about this is how easy it is to clean. Always, every time I get done, scrape off all the food particles. Uh, all the grease, all the gunk, just scrape it off. It goes back into a, the tray in the back and catch all that. And then after it's clean and dried off, I always put a coat of oil on it. I use olive oil. I know you can use vegetable oil, bacon fat, bacon grease, whatever you want to use. But I stick with olive oil because I cook with it a lot anyway. So I put that on there, keeps the rust away, keeps it clean for the next time. And then once you fire it up, the next time it's ready to use, you don't have to worry about prepping it. So you're just ready to fire it up and get started. So on this Pro Series, it does have two drawers here. Uh, I like to keep all my utensils in the top. Uh, I did use this Blackstone griddle seasoning. First thing, that's the first thing I did, followed the instructions. Got it nice and ready to go for the first cook. In the bottom, I like to keep olive oil, water, all kinds of accessories you might need for whatever you're cooking. So paper towels, aluminum foil, trash bags, anything else. Four burners here along the top, easy to maintain, easy to control heat from one side to the other. So I do like that quite a bit. Then you got a utensil holder here, magnetized, so you can put all your utensils there while you're cooking. And then two pretty nice size trays, one on each side to put your all your meats and veggies and everything like that. One other thing I do like to do is I'll, I will set up a table off to the side over here just to have some extra space. I wish there was just a little bit extra room on these. If you cook a lot, you'll know you need all kinds of plates. And if you're cooking multiple different items, it's nice to have that extra space. But overall, it is a good size. Uh, if it did go much bigger, it'd be kind of hard to maneuver around. Uh, it does have two locking casters that swivel on one side. So it is easy to move around, especially on concrete. I will say if you're gonna move it in grass or gravel, it's kind of a pain, but if you keep it on a nice flat surface, it wheels around pretty good. So like I did mention earlier, uh, all your grease, gunk, all your extra food particles, you can scrape into this opening in the back and it does fall right down into a tray. They do make the aluminum uh, liners for this, which I highly, highly recommend. And you just pop this liner out, replace it with a new one next time you're ready to cook and then it's easy to clean. That is one thing that I really do like, having the aluminum liners in there uh, makes for a quick and easy cleanup. So coming around here to the right side, uh, there are two accessories, a couple of things I wanted to talk about. There's a bar that goes in these holes here on each side. It comes out, goes back in, and it's for a trash bag. It is nice to use. I will say when it's windy, when there's a lot of just breeze flowing around, if that bag's empty, it'll take off on you. So, so what I do is I just either keep a trash bag off to the side if it's real windy or I don't even use one, but I did take this bar off. It just pops right off. It's down inside here if I ever do need it, but I don't use it a whole lot. And also up here, it's got a paper towel holder that side, it swivels all the way out above the trash bag. And another thing on windy days, if you got a roll of paper towels here, that whole roll will swivel off in the wind 
or go in a trash bag it'll be all over the place so a couple things that i don't really use i would say that i wish this paper towel holder was on the other side that way if you did use it it would keep it out of the trash that's down here if you do use that good features just if it's really windy i don't even recommend using it because you'll either lose all your trash or lose all your paper towels another thing i like with this pro series blackstone is the lid uh, I do highly recommend getting a blackstone with a lid if you're going to keep it outside. Um, and I also do have a cover that covers the whole grill uh, as well as the lid just to give a little extra protection uh, when I don't use it. And maybe a few weeks it keeps the dust and the dirt and the bird crap off of it. So I do recommend getting the cover as well as getting one with the lid on it. Um, it just makes you feel like it's a little cleaner when you're ready to use it. Uh, overall, I'll say this has been a really, really good investment. I had a gas grill for five or six years. The bottom rusted out of it, and I was just ready to get something different. So we picked this up at Walmart, put it together in about an hour, and started cooking right away. So overall, I just wanted to get a quick video out, uh, just a little six-month review. Like I said, wanted to just show a little highlights few things that I think could be improved on. Overall, I would highly recommend purchasing one of these if you're thinking about it, especially over a gas grill or something like that. If you've seen my previous videos, I also have a Pit Boss smoker. Uh, you can check that video out. So I like having both the ability to smoke and to use this griddle uh, for whatever kind of cook that I'm gonna be doing that day. I would say we use this at least once or twice a week, especially in the nice weather. It's probably the best bacon that I've ever had. Uh, still learning on steaks, but using some butter and some seasoning. It's, I've really had good luck with steaks and chicken and smoked pork chops, everything. So as long as you maintain this top, keep the rust off of it, take care of it, make sure you season it. I think it's going to last me a long time. And like I said, if you keep it covered and just keep everything in working order, keep it clean, clean it every time you use it and keep it in good shape. I think it's going to be well worth the investment over five, six, seven years, if not more. So hopefully this lasts me a long time. If you got any questions, just let me know. So I appreciate you sticking with me, coming back, checking out my videos. We'll see what else we get into this summer. Uh, maybe try to smoke a turkey for Thanksgiving this fall on the Pit Boss. So please, if you got any suggestions, recommendations on the Blackstone, feel free to put them in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching and see what we get into later this year. And we'll catch you next time.